Hello guys, welcome back to Sound VFX. Today, in this tutorial, I'll be showing you guys how we can fracture a hollow object in Rayfire. So, let's begin up by creating a simple box. Okay. And let me add in a shell modifier. And if I press the F3 key and go to Ease mode, wireframe mode then you can see that we have got a inner box and a outer box so if we fragment we must get um, something like we are fracturing a hollow object so if we go to rayfire open it up and add this to our dynamic object and then fragment it let me use pro boolean and just about five okay fragment it okay let me turn on my edges and then you can see that it's the similar you will just get uh, another box inside and it's same like you're fracturing a box so how can we fragment the hollow object so let me show you that okay, let me just delete this we already have these objects okay then we're going to convert it to editable poly then I'm gonna go to vertex and what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect this inner a f inner object with this outer object if let me just zoom in and select so now you can see that even though when I'm selecting my element uh, we have two separate element that is one is inner element and another is outer element so we need to make these two elements a single object so that Rayfire can actually fragment them perfectly Okay, so let me select these two corner vertex and do a quick chamfer. Just a small, I don't want it to be too big. Okay, just very small. And then I'm going to polygon mode and just select those triangles right there. Okay, and then hit breeze. Okay, let me hit the F3 key to see. We have got this small hole right here, but that does not, um, is not noticeable so it don't have any problem now if I okay it's already added fragment my object now you can see that we have hollow inside so that's how we can fragment hollow object using rayfire till now we don't have anything uh, any options which can fragment hollow object so uh, I heard that uh, it is in the phase of development so in the next version uh, we'll get uh, the options which will allow us to fragment uh, hollow objects easily so till now we'll have to do that same technique and the next thing to keep in mind is we can only use pro boolean or pro color fragmentation for this type of object uh, Vorno uniform does not work nicely so we'll have to use pro boolean or pro color this was actually a simple geometry so let me just uh, use a sphere for another example okay and here we have lots of vertices so let me add in a shell modifier okay and then again convert it to editable poly and hit the F3 key so now you have got lots of segments so it will be a little difficult for you to find out the vertices so you can just use these top two vertex okay these two and then let me just check for them okay I don't want that too much just a small amount okay and then just select those objects sorry those faces not objects okay oops I deselected them as well uh, let me just zoom in I think we don't have any faces. Okay, let me just undo it and okay. Uh, let me do chamfer one uh, once again. I think it was too small. Okay, now I can select these two vertex. It's a little difficult to select small faces, you know. Some time it takes some time for that. So let me do it as quick as I can okay so we got them so now the same technique breeze them 
okay so you will have a little hole that does not affect at all now you can easily fragment your object okay so you can see same technique you can use for any type of complex geometry either that is a uh, sculpture or any kind of um, buildings or whatever if you need to fragment your hollow geometry you can use the same technique uh, let me use a little complex um, okay torus knot okay okay let us try to fragment this one let me just delete this off okay and then apply a shell modifier okay a little bit bigger okay hit F four key and then convert it to a table poly now using the same technique we'll just select two s uh, vertices uh, let us find some one okay this one will be fine I think okay and then let me just um, do a chamfer small amount very very small so that won't be noticeable okay okay about this much this will be fine okay we got them and then let me breeze them again the same technique and F3 okay so now if you select these objects you will have a single element but even the interfaces is single so if you go inside and try to select them it will just be a single you don't get two different elements like we had before so now you can again add them and fragment and remember not Voronoi, Pro Boolean or Pro Cutter okay so here we go we get this hollow fragmentations okay so uh, until and unless uh, we get anything that can easily fragment hollow object within Rayfire we'll have to use uh, this technique to connect inner and outer elements together and then fragment them so I hope uh, it helped you guys uh, it was quite a short tutorial we'll see you next time in another tutorial thank you till then